we have a problem. One of our prize paintings is missing. Oh no! Which work is missing? It's the William Hawkins Red Dog Running. Oh no! We need to start searching immediately. Circulate a photograph of the painting so everyone knows what it looks like. Well, there's another problem. The painting was never photographed. We don't have an image to show to the public. That is a problem. We're gonna need special help from the outside to get to the bottom of this. Let me see. Who do I know with the special skills to help us? Excuse me, everyone. Hello? Hello, Dr. Harris. This is Nanette from the Art Museum. Oh, hello, Nanette. How can I help you? We have a major problem at the museum. A painting is missing, and we need your help to find it. I'll be right there. Wow, that was fast. Well, this is a serious problem. Yes, as I was saying, Red Dog Running is a painting made by William Hawkins, beloved folk artist in Columbus, 1986. Here he is. He is known for his brightly colored pictures, which he painted with found materials, including paint, brushes, and board. We need to show people what it looks like so we can find out if anyone's seen it. The problem is we don't have a photograph. Do you know anyone who can help us? Sure do. CCS fifth graders, I know you have the critical thinking skills to help Nanette and the Columbus Museum of Art to solve this mystery of the missing painting. Excellent. But we need to work fast. It'll take too long to make a painted copy of the picture for our investigation. Right. You will use twist ties for your model. We will then use your interpretation to let the public know exactly what we're looking for. In a moment, I will describe to you what the painting looks like. Listen carefully and begin taking notes while Nanette is talking. Keep an ear out for such things as size, shape, color, and proportion. You can write or sketch your ideas as a way to transfer what you hear to paper. After you've taken notes individually, you'll form teams and work with fellow investigators. Share your notes, and then you need to agree on a final interpretation of the painting. Each group will construct the image they designed with twist ties. Let's get started. In the center of the painting, a huge red dog gallops buoyantly through a field of grass. His floppy, hairy ears and his tail blow back against the wind. His wavy tongue hangs out of his mouth as he pants. In the distance, behind the dog's head, stands a man, shorter than the dog, wearing bell-bottom pants and boots. He has a head of wild hair that stands up in all directions. In the foreground, two tiny winged figures fly next to the dog while three gnome-like characters scamper after him. Across the entire top edge of the painting, against the sky, the title is written in large capital letters. Red Dog appears as one word, and running is spelled with one N instead of the correct double N's. That's a lot of information, but I know that you can piece it together to reproduce an image of the painting. Yes, it is a lot of information, but we need your help and we need it fast. You are the key to helping us find Red Dog Running. Let's get started. Hello, fifth graders. Nanette and I are here to thank you for a job well done. That's right. Thanks to your hard investigative work, Red Dog Running has been found and returned to the Columbus Museum of Art. After seeing your twist eye models, we had someone report seeing the painting. It turns out that the painting had been accidentally placed in Carl the janitor's office while the gallery was being repainted. He liked the painting so much that he hung it up in his office so that he could enjoy it every day. 
Only after seeing your models did he recognize his new office decor as the missing painting. Now that we know where Red Dog Running is, it can be returned to the gallery so everyone can enjoy it, including Carl. So thanks again, everybody, for all your hard work. We couldn't have done it without you.